This video will show you how to calculate the carat weight of a gem using a free online calculator at uh, vcalc.com. I'll provide the link uh, embedded in this video down in the metadata. Uh, so when you come to the calculator, uh, first off, it has a couple things. It has a couple tabs for different items. One is for uh, precious metals, and we'll cover that in a separate video. But today we're going to talk about uh, carat weight estimation. And we have two sets of functions, one for a, a wide variety of gems and then one dedicated specifically to diamonds. But uh, again, we're going to talk about specific uh, carat weights for gems. Uh, it is good to note that uh, one should never estimate the carat weight of a gem if it is loose. Uh, one should just use a good uh, jeweler scale and weigh it. Uh, however, there are often occurrences when you cannot uh, weigh a gem because it's in a setting and you don't want to take it out of the setting and potentially destroy it. So in that case, you need to choose the shape of the gem. And there are different uh, formulas in the calculator uh, that use the shape and some dimensions. So for example, let's consider the pear shape uh, or teardrop. And uh, it, it's a very common shape. So if you click on the button, the first thing you need to do is you need to determine what type of gem it is. Uh, there's a large variety, and this is used uh, to look up the specific gravity of the gem, uh, which is then used with the volume estimation to come up with the good uh, type of uh, good estimation of the carat weight. So uh, let's pick a gem, and let's go down to ruby. All right, and now in our pear-shaped gem, it's going to have uh, three dimensions. It's going to have a length, a width, and a depth. Uh, the length is from the point to the rounded end, so let's give that a uh, three millimeter. We'll say the width is 2.2 millimeters, and then the depth uh, is, we'll get, make that uh, 1.9 millimeters. And if there's a bulge in the center, you can give a, a factor for that, a percentage uh, a bulge. Uh, and again, a good jeweler's guide will walk you through that. But in this case, it basically will tell you the carat weight. In this case, it's, it's, it's um, 0 0.8, 0 0.08 carats. Uh, there's also ways to convert that to things like grams, et cetera. Um, and then you can change it to uh, different um, gems. So you can pick a different gem, and obviously you'll see a different uh, carat weight. So that's one. So the, another one are oval, uh, marquise faceted, and they're all very similar in that navette or boat shaped long rectangular cut, and certainly uh, the standard round, etc. So if you have a diamond, it's very similar, but instead of looking up the specific gravity of a gem, uh, these are based upon very common diamond cuts, and it uses the uh, specific gravity of, uh, of a diamond. So in this case, for a baguette, you would give the length. Uh, we'll say that's 4.5 millimeters, 4.4. And we'll say a width of 3.9 and a depth of 2.2. And again, it'll calculate that this is about 0.34 carats. All right. Uh, hopefully you find this video useful. And uh, again, the tool's free. And uh, there's other uh, terrific features in it, including uh, calculating. Uh, this is the current spot price of gold, platinum, and palladium, and silver. But then some useful functions on coming up with... Um, a good buy price, including things like the, uh, you could add the weight in various units, add the purity, whether it's 24 carat all the way down to eight carat, uh, and then some refining fees uh, and things like that. And it'll give you a good price for your, um, for your scrap metal. All right, thank you so much.